Hi, I'm Jade and I'm a care leaver. So I've been in care since I was two years old and I left care when I was 18. So I've had 11 placements and Helen and Dave were my 11 foster carers. So being in care has meant I've received a lot of support with school, with family contact and just generally coping with life with my anxiety and my mental health. So being with Helen and Dave, you know, has meant they've obviously supported me with um, getting through school, getting through college, and also with jobs that can help me with my future career. So I still remember the day when I moved into Helen and Dave's. I was 13 years old. And I remember feeling very scared and anxious and also a bit nervous as well. Obviously not knowing the area, the family and the school I would be going to. So it made my anxiety worse. But then day after day, you know, they made me feel settled. And then, you know, going to the school, getting used to that routine also helped me feel settled as well. So I remember when I was 14, I decided to call Helen and Dave mum and dad. Um, this is because I felt like I didn't really have a mum and dad while growing up in care. Um, so, you know, they, they helped, they made me feel like I was their own daughter so that also helped me calling them mum and dad um I also remember that I didn't really um behave that well when I was growing up as a teenager while living with them um when this would happen they would sit me down you know and talk to me and tell me what I did wrong and why it was wrong and then they would just support me you know get through that and explain to me why behaving you know is good and they made me realize if I would behave then you know that would build trust between me and them and the rest of the family which is very important as well so when you foster obviously having that trust and that bond between you and the young person can make the young person feel you know that they belong in the family um and yeah so that's why trust is good when you foster um so obviously when i was living with helen and dave i felt like i was obviously playing the role of big sister and that also made me feel anxious and nervous as well because I didn't know what it would be like to be like a big sister. And obviously Helen and Dave would support me with that as well, um, which is really great. And now I feel like I'm really proud to be a, a big sibling, which is really good as well. So making loads of memories with the younger ones and, um, you know, looking back now, that's been an amazing experience having two little brothers <laughs> which is really cool because um, I've never had brothers before um, so I think that you should foster especially fostering teenagers because it is very rewarding um, and yeah like it makes the young person feel loved and like I said before feel like a part of the family uh, which is a very important thing. Um, yeah, and I feel like living with Helen and Dave has made me realise and has made me learn that they never quit on me and they were, they was always there for me if I would fa fa fail in life or if I did something wrong or if I felt upset or low or just having a bad day, you know, they'd always be there for me and you know, to this day, you know, since leaving care, they are still there for me. They are still in contact with me. I'm still in contact with them. And I feel like that's very important as well. So when you're fostering, I think, obviously, 
keeping in contact with a young person, like I've said, um, is good and important because it's good to know what the young person you fostered is up to these days. Um, so yeah, so all in all, fostering is amazing uh, and I think you should give it a go.